Hi, my name is Mark Prosser. Thanks for clicking on the video. I'm out here working in my garage again today, and we're building a garlic planter. A garlic planter. So we got this big barrel bought from the local farm shop to roll your yard out. You know, you fill them full of water, they weigh a thousand pounds. But what we're going to do is build a bunch of these little dudes, these nasty little three quarter inch spikes, and we're going to weld them all over this thing. Six inches apart by six inches apart. Pull this thing behind a tractor and punch holes in the ground to plant garlic. So we're going to take you step by step through this whole process, get it done, and get it sent back to the customer. Even if you're not an artist, grab a piece of paper and sketch this thing out. It'll make the whole process go easier. Go to the 210 MP, select the polarity, select the gas, select the wire, select the thickness, and pow, it adjusts itself. Anytime you're welding anything, you got to get the powder coat, you got to get the paint, rust, dirt out of the way. The cleaner the material, the better the weld. Always. Take the time to clean it up a little bit. Lay them out, get them cleaned up, and start welding. So now that we got all the three inch spikes welded on here, the tow bars won't clear. So we need to cut this stuff apart. We need to extend it about two inches. It is three eighths inch plate, so we can't just butt it up and run a bead on it. It's probably not gonna hold. So I'm gonna cut it, I'm gonna extend it. I'm gonna V groove the weld joints out with my plasma cutter, and we're gonna weld them up nice.
I got my pieces cut. I bevel the edges of them. They're about 30 degree bevels. I'm going to do an open root butt weld because it's 3 8 inch plate. I get a nice fat tack on the top. I'm trying to keep these things in position. I know they're going to move around when I weld them. But they got to be straight and true before I start welding. Attack on both sides. First pass is a vertical down root pass. This is going to give me full penetration on the weld. That's what I need for the strength. The second pass I'm going to do is kind of a weave, side to side weave, vertical up. I want to make sure that I'm filling this metal up because I'm going to finish it and probably end up painting it by the time I'm done. So the last pass, the cat pass, same Z weave up. I'm holding on the sides and moving across the middle. Hold on the sides and move across the middle. And when I get to the very top, I want to make sure that I fill the whole weld joint up. Because you got to finish the metal, so it can't be below the base metal. These are big welds, and they're going to distort this metal. So tuning them up when you're done with a square is kind of necessity. They're going to move around. Once I get them squared, I get my sander out, I start finishing. My handy jet disc sander is always a good way to make things flat. As long as you build that weld up enough, it's easy to finish. I've tweaked these bars around. I put some muscle on them. Probably even smacked them with a hammer once or twice. But we got them pretty square and true. We're putting them right back on just how they were from the factory. Except for they're two inches longer. The neck is going to get bolted back on. I'm going to make sure everything is clearanced. Probably when we're done, and we get a little paint on there to stop the rust, something on there. But I think this thing's going to work perfect. The customer already has already seen it, and they love it, which is always good. So we're pretty much the end of our garlic roller. You can see it always is faster if you take the time to lay it out. Good thing is tolerances weren't real critical in this project. It's just punching holes in the ground. The cool weld clips that you saw throughout the video are from our friends at Visible Welding. They loan us their cameras that captures that neat video to show you guys. And the bottom line is, you know, just get out there and start cutting and build something. Thanks for watching the video.